What's up, everybody? Welcome to Here's the Scenario. That's our lovely theme song by John Beatty. Let's give him a little credit. John Beatty. Thank you so much. Johnny Bates. If you're new to the show, what's up? I'm Brendan Sagalo, being joined with me as always. I'm Mike Feeney, and also Mike Cannon. And if you are new, this is what the show is about, okay? We do hypotheticals. We ask what ifs. Mary F. Kills. Uh, I almost forgot kills. <laughs> and we just, uh, we just, and we get high before it. Little, little. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm You're falling. I'm falling. No, I had it. I watched had the it. rocks crumble. <laughs> out of you your know hand. what it is? It's just looking up and seeing your eyes being like, you're falling, we, man. Dude, you're falling, both man. Both of us are like Jack Nicholson in that <laughs> meme. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, <laughs> I need somebody like in that Simpsons episode when Lisa's like uh, climbing the thing to be like, you're going to do it. Brendan, you're, you got you're it. on a piece of ice out to sea that's getting smaller by the second. <laughs> the little polar bear. And you started the timer. Oh, and I just started the timer. So now we're right. ready to go. Well, welcome to the show. Um, what is the show? It's a hypothetical based show. We ask what ifs. Uh, Mary F. Kills. I we just go through the it? whole thing. You guys ask it. Oh. You send us uh, the questions and we ask it. You kind of build it and Where we just go it? off. You can send it to. I hate that you're doing that. I man. love it because he's <laughs> giving it shape. <laughs> yeah, but I hate that he's doing it and then other things. Things, where can they go? <laughs> well, what can they would do? You, would you find your way there naturally? Yeah, probably. I've done it before. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now you take a break. Yeah, your record is sterling when it comes <laughs> to Look, introductions. It ain't, it ain't my, uh, you know, it's not my biggest talent, but <laughs> talking. <laughs> talking and, hey, welcome to the man. Yeah. <laughs> do you think we get uh, an SEO problem for that? For no. mumbling? No. Okay. Just go, man. No. Where can they get the questions? What? You can send questions, but what we do. you. (laughs) You have such I love this. No guest. We get right back to it, man. (laughs) There's just (laughs) nobody (laughs) here to behave in front of. (laughs) Yeah, it really is what it is. It really is what it is. It's an inability (laughs) problem with authority to to listen to 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 make it feel like, no, no, I'm doing it my way. Do you know what this is? This is the first 10 minutes after couples therapy with your chick (laughs) is like, you just like, you just went through the whole thing with a person in front of you. You, Neither (laughs) of you melted down and you just kind of like got through every detail. Yeah. And then outside you're just holding on to every rebuttal that you had to pop up in your head. Just your eyes start bleeding. Uh, You can send (laughs) us, we get the questions from the Patreon. We give the Patreon um, exclusive privilege to the first questions on the show now, so I'd, I'd if you want you want to join the patreon yeah well what you could do is you can go to patreon.com slash scenario pod right and uh click one of any of the tiers we really appreciate it and we got a we got a blunts with the boys show that we do on there where we get high as a mug and just talk maybe maybe shit on some it's people it's different from this one despite the description <laughs> <laughs> you just got Look, done being like we're gonna get high <laughs> yeah. okay whatever can't we can't stop do. us from <laughs> getting high <laughs> this is blunts with Brendan, the here's the scenario Brendan's <laughs> credo about a month ago was I'm only getting high all day Wednesdays from now yeah. on because that's the day we do the podcast well, that that's is, what I'm it's, doing it's a work day so we got it. so we smoke all of day. course of course yeah. uh let's get into some questions i'm super sure. excited to do that shit oh well you could say shit on comedy central this one comes from hans van <laughs> we can't say anything on comedy central <laughs> schmiddledorf they're not, not even a channel yeah <laughs> <laughs> this comes from hans van schmiddledorf um you're given a three f- three foot foot by four foot canvas and an and a full deluxe oil painting set. The next thing you paint will instantly become known as the most famous piece of art in the world. You have one month to finish. What do you paint? (laughs) That's that's hilarious. So I'm going to paint something that's going to be the most popular thing in the world. Yeah. And you only have a month, but what are my tools? You have a full painting. I know exactly what I would do. I would, uh, I uh, three by four foot. 
Oh, he, yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. It's not that big, though. I would actually prefer like a wall. Yeah, because this, then you can start throwing paint. No, no, Al Fresco? Is, what is this? The opening <clears throat> credits of In Living Color? <laughs> <laughs> no. You got you to gotta have some purpose. This is going to be a huge painting. Culturally, this is going to mean a lot to society. Mm. So you have to think about also what, what symbol do you want to show? And I want to show um, a release and a, a letting go of of past trauma of anger of hatred and it turning into a bright beautiful future for us all how do you paint that so i would draw a an open asshole <laughs> shitting a <laughs> rainbow uh-huh. and a giant burst of like the sun was or the earth was just created cosmic light yeah boom coming out of where the rainbow hits the floor and that kind of emanating into almost a uh, psychedelic slash space like backdrop, and they're gonna get all that from that. I think so. <clears throat> I think that's pretty clear. Yeah, that's a good thing about <laughs> art. <laughs> that will be the name of the piece. Is, is, <laughs> the whole thing you just said will be the title. It's pretty. I think it's pretty clear. Yeah, <laughs> I would like to paint something that would really just stick in everybody's mind to just be peaceful to each other. You know what I mean? What do you paint that's like, no more violence? You know, it's funny. I had something, mine somewhere along that sentiment. Um, I'm doing a mosaic where you, like, it, from the distance, it just looks like sort of like a, a natural-looking heart. Not like the heart that we draw. Like that kind of oh, natural-looking uh, yeah. like heart. With the valves. <laughs> with with yeah. the valves. And then yeah, blood. As, when you get yeah. close to it, I'm talking like right up to it, in each little piece of this inside the heart are like you know let's say like people people at war with one another people fighting yeah. people all the stuff that encompasses love the positive and the negative all of us coming together the little pieces of that make human experience people holding hands people yeah. like sh sharing a sunset together all these other and then when you back away it's the heart it's love dude we are like as deep as Aldous Snow. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta do something. We gotta do something. <laughs> I thought that was pretty profound. It's good. It's good. And there'll be little like quotes it. about love inside it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think there is anything to uh, change human behavior, unfortunately. <laughs> There's not one thing that you can do. Brendan's a living example of that. That's right. Yeah, that's so right. Why not? Paint darkness. Green Day. <laughs> <laughs> paint Green paint Day the, on it. You paint the Dookie mural. <laughs> yeah. Changed my life. <laughs> uh, also, it smells the painting. Nobody's ever done that before. <laughs> yes, they have. Have they made paintings smell? Many, yeah. many. Yeah. Name one. Leonardo. <laughs> Ooh. Da Vinci. Made made one that smells. Well, it's, it, it, well it's called Les Mel. But, uh, it's, it's called in, the Italian smell. They used to make it out like some of the paint used to be. It was like manure mixture, so there yeah. is a natural odor. Oh, yeah. How do you think they got their browns? Oh my god, people just painting with shit back then, and they were. Yeah. Um, well, that's why all, most of it. those like old the, the Catholic paintings Alfresco? are. No, you know the those oil paintings, but they're mostly like brownish. Like that's kind of the general vibe. Oh never, god, never, never bright and vibrant. It's typically like. Manure. Is there any like super famous painting that was painted with manure many. that people like go to and they're Mona like, Lisa. Painting with manure? Yeah. Not dude, the just whole thing manure. is brown, dude. Yeah, it's not like pure <laughs> shit. <Yeah. laughs> they're not just dipping in liquid shit and then just putting it on canvas. Yeah. It's mixed. It's yeah. part of the they didn't have enough resources, so this was how they mass produced you it. You think you think everybody back then had their own paint palette on their no. you know? <laughs> no, I no. guess not. Yeah, it's not. Well Bob then how'd they make yeah. red or any of the other colors? It's a bit Chipotle. Yeah. They eat Chipotle. <laughs> or they give the horses Chipotle. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 they intentionally make the horse have bloody shit. Yeah. <laughs> Paintings were so fucking metal back then. Yeah, dude. Yeah. <laughs> and art was art. Yeah. <laughs> All right. This next question comes from Samantha Amato. Oh, nice. What's up, Samantha? Hey. Sammy. Hey. Sammy A. Sammy A. Sammy A. Would you rather have a food stain on all your white t-shirts 
or, a Brennan, a Brennan inspired. All right. Election. So the way I live, <laughs> I'm tired of this crumb stain narrative. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's coming. Or a bleach stain on all your black t-shirts. The bleach stain because the bleach Ble- stain can look. It can look purposeful. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Look cool. Yeah. A, a cookie stain on a white shirt. Is, no, that is oopsie pie. You know. Yeah. yeah. And it, it really like. It does Oopsie pie. A, a bleach thing <laughs> can kind of you food. can make that play as something cool, right? Or at least yeah, yeah, yeah you can be like this was on. But like a crumb, like a stain on your white shirt for some reason, and it's unfair, Brendan. So I'm not coming at you, but for some reason, it really reflects on all aspects of your life. Yeah, truly. It I, just sucks when you do it that day and you're like, what am I supposed to do? Go get another fucking t-shirt? Yeah, I mean, that's pen. not what happened. You did it five days prior and then showed up to this podcast, but sure. Unwashed. It, yeah. And I now, was it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. Now, the fact that you didn't have a scathing rebuttal proves that. It, <laughs> I agree. Now, I I have like a like a tank top that I it was white and I washed it with the other clothes and it became like that pink that bleached I when it's that. bleached. And now I wear it even more than I used to. Yeah. It's like your birdcage attire. Yeah. It could look bad, though. If it's not, like, in a cool way, it, the bleach stain yeah. could yes, look bad. Yes, it could look bad, but there's an option for it to look good. The cookie stain True, never looks good. that never looks good. No one's like, sick cookie stain. Yeah, that, I, bet that, I bet that guy's <laughs> that got his fucking life together, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, designer, guy, that guy's... Yeah. Is that Calvin Klein by Chips Ahoy? <laughs> Is that, who are you wearing? That dude's <laughs> definitely about to be 31. <laughs> <laughs> dude, we can't bring up Brendan. Please don't made. poke that, man. He's having such a okay. tough time Please don't about poke it. That, I dude. missed the heartfelt conversation. I wasn't there for it. I'm having an existential crisis about it. Yeah, you're eating a lot of eggs yeah about dude, it? you're the only person that says existential. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a real scrambled brain about my existential crisis. That's what it means, isn't one. it? I don't know. <laughs> That's why it's spelled that way. <laughs> it's, 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 it's got me all poached. <laughs> <laughs> My brains are running. I'm trying to think it over easy, but you know, it turns out it's kind of over hard. This life thing. Why is spelled that way? Is <laughs> existential, the name of the episode, everyone. Yeah. I wanted to call it uh, Cookie Pie or whatever the fuck he said before. <laughs> Oopsie Pie. Oopsie Pie. Yeah. That's um, about it. All right. Here's the next question. Comes from Tanya Miller. Tanya. Hey, Tanya. Hey, yeah. Tanya. Hey. Uh, at, <laughs> <laughs> at what number? At what number of microwave beeps does it feel excessive? Like, uh, oh, dude, three. At, it needs at to three. Be. I want to tear it out of the <laughs> yeah. wall and throw it through it, a window. It should never be longer than deet, deet. just a quick like. In case you didn't yeah. hear the first one, you were in the other room. No. And and my microwave does a thing where if you don't open it, it like gives you it reminder beeps. Yeah. No, it gives you reminder beeps. Like after a minute, it'll be like, beep. Hey, it's, I'm still in here. You fuck. You didn't open the door yet and take the stuff out of it. I wonder if there's an equivalent with the, with women with this, Nicole. So uh, try to try to keep up. Try no, to relate. Try, yeah, try to relate. But <laughs> there is <laughs> try to keep up. <laughs> 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 but there's like there's something about those beeps that is emasculating yeah. and makes me defensive to the point where it like taps into my ape shit <laughs> yeah. and I want to Donkey yeah. Kong smash everything in my sight. There must be something with the high pitchness because hor- car horns do that too. Yeah, it's a alerting. little bit. Nicole, yeah, it's alerting. Nicole, any any relation? I mean, I can't say it makes me feel emasculated, but I don't know. It definitely makes me mad. Okay. I'm just having a hard time keeping up, to be honest. (laughs) Aren't we all? Johnny Depp won. Wow. Nice. Wow, good for him. Yeah. Good Good for him. Coke party at Johnny. (laughs) Yeah, let's all do it. I think she owes him like $40 million she doesn't have or something. He he sued for like such a crazy amount that she was never going to have money for. She ain't working ever again. I, I doubt he will either. I think they both I think did he will. I think he cleared his favor. Name. Yeah. You think so? I do. Yeah. 
Everybody is. I mean, they're both fucking psychotic. Yeah. yeah. But he All was right. like, he was being he, billed as like he, a woman yeah. beating alcoholic, like, yeah. Mess. Oh, yeah. It yeah, turns yeah. out he's just a alcoholic. Tra- he's an alcoholic <laughs> with hardcore trauma of being beaten and abused. <laughs> While also beating and abusing at the same time. Yeah. Sometimes you react to your reactions, you know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Love the way you lie. <laughs> <laughs> Have you, you ever forget- learned? <laughs> you will forget I'll beat the shit out of you. <laughs> Watch right. that. If you're new to the Patreon, go back. The fuck, the rage room that we put up there. Oh, yeah. Unbelievable. He's the best, dude. So we got to do that again. I know. I want to do for massages. For no, personal I, the reason. next one we got to do that we've been talking about is going to the fucking indoor trampoline oh, park fuck, where we can yeah. dunk and play dodgeball. We should and just, yeah. Yeah. Right now? Do that. Yeah. I'm literally like, <laughs> do I have time? <laughs> <laughs> All right, this Nicole, next question. Can you find the closest trampoline park while we look up this next question? Yeah, and the hot ones challenge. That's been a Got to do the hot ones oh, challenge. What are we doing? Cernus was supposed to give us the hot sauces for them. He gave me two, right? Yep. Those were good. Thanks, Ernest. We're just slowly collecting good. all the ones we need. Yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I haven't told you I even received them. <laughs> so if you're listening, appreciate it. Good sauce, bro. <laughs> All right, this one comes from Caitlin Lejeune. Oh, Lejeune. Caitlin Lejeune. Would you rather travel into the past to meet your ancestors or the future to meet your descendants? That is a good question. I can't believe we've never been asked that. I was just about to say that. We haven't. Never been asked. It's a real good question. I think, I mean, here's the problem with going to meet the descendants is that in the future. It's only a tricky game in that, I mean, I'm assuming there's no butterfly effect to any of this, so it's fine. But when you go that far into the future, there's going to be such a language and technology barrier of like, if you if we went to back to the 1800s yeah. and showed our phone, they'd just fucking start crying, you know? Yeah. But it's like, if, you go, if we go 150 years in the future, we're going to be like, what is that? You use a what to do what? Like, we'll constantly be the dumb ones playing catch up where I would like to go back and be the smart ones where, where, they, where they're like, we get around on horses. And I'm like, you haven't heard of cars? Yeah. Let me show you the Mustang, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Did you bring it with, the, with you? <laughs> yeah, and that's how I go through the time warp in a sick fire engine red yeah, Mustang dude. with a with a red <laughs> racing shirt. Dude, imagine 88 just, miles an hour. And imagine just, just fucking... skidding into fucking the Wild West and just blasting into yeah. a horse and they're just like, what the <laughs> yeah. fuck? You get like, 400 musket <laughs> pellets into you because yeah. you're the Antichrist. <laughs> Yeah, it's literally a devil's chariot. Yeah. yeah. You get Blasting through a you fire get hole. scalped the- immediately by the Native Americans yeah. who are listening to the ground. They're like, look, I know we've made mistakes before in the past, but I think this guy's a witch. I really do think I, this guy's a I witch. I would die immediately no matter what. Like, wherever I travel to, if it's a substantial enough amount of time, I yeah. have no survival skills if for Mike any other period. If Mike went two days, Bill and Ted just constantly being, like, <laughs> pissing off the queen. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just Billy the Kid get just instantly in a poker match <laughs> with him for some reason. Yeah, I mean, there is a there is that where it makes it just so much easier to be like, I know how everything works back here. I just want to meet my ancestors. I don't have any, you know. And it's cool to see, like, if you went back to, like, maybe an ancestor that, you know, was like a real, like, manual labor, just fucking... Yeah. Just doing the bare minimum to get by, lived on, like, a dust bowl, you know what I mean? Those, like, old farmers, and then you could be like, man, your hard work is going to indirectly pay off throughout the generations, and you'll never, ever be alive to know it. You don't know this, but you're getting me an Oculus right now. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. (laughs) you will die in poverty, but I will have... Do you know what's interesting? VR. (laughs) it, It depends which question you want answered, right? One is, to go back is to find out why you are. Basically, like why, how, how have I become genetically, emotionally, how has this all worked its way to me? Yeah. And then forward is what impact am I? What will you become? Yeah. Do I have on society? Like not just me personally, but my what I've unleashed onto the world. You just go into the future and a bunch of buildings have big like flags on it that say Emperor Cannon <laughs> in like black and red. Hello, everybody. And buildings are on fire. Yeah. Just uh, it, a person comes over and gives me a blunt. I take a hit and I'm like, <laughs> welcome to my kingdom. Yeah, you know, this is... <laughs> Hello. This, this is actually my last blood. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for showing up now for the screening of Mike Takes Edibles. Episode four million. I take over a city. Uh, I, I like the idea of going back in time and like 
figuring out like one of your uh, ancestors is like a warrior or something like that. that you think cool. you're you're a no. warrior stuff? Well, there there's the opposite of that <laughs> where you go back in time and you're thinking like I can't wait to see the my ans- my warrior ancestors and you're just the town fool. Dude, I, I <laughs> oh my great 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 grandpa's the town idiot. You're covered in shit. Do you know you ever see Robin Hood Prince of Thieves? Yeah. You know the women that just like kind of hang out in nooks in the castle and he's like, you be my 530, you 545. Yeah. That was your descendant. <laughs> yeah. Those... The first transsexual <laughs> person, just uh, uh, my great great grandpa in a dress in the window. Does that make any sense? No. <laughs> I thought that's in the character you're talking about. No. In Robin Hood Prince of Thieves. Yeah. The Kevin Costner flick. You said the, the women in the windows. The ones hanging out in the castle. When they're just like milling about and they're on call sexual slaves. Yeah. That's what I said. And I'm making the joke that your that grandfather, it's my grandfather. Right. I, but he's the first transsexual. I get it. And we got there. <laughs> we got there, folks. Next question comes from although being in the future, seeing the future would be so fucking cool. Wouldn't it make you have envy though? Because like, fuck, I wish I would be alive to see all no. of this cool shit. Maybe Back you are seeing past, it. I feel like if you go back in the past, you'll appreciate what you have more now than when you go in the future. Yeah. I mean, it's going to do something like to if you, you went, your mental. If you were in 1995 and you went to today, you'd be like, oh my God, we're yeah. going to have all these lights and microphone and with cell phones, huge TVs. super computers, like yeah. in our pot. <laughs> like it would blow our minds. Burger King. <laughs> Burger Oculus. King. Thank God Burger King still <laughs> in every corner. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I feel like I'd be uh, pretty pretty grateful for now either way i went yeah it's kind of like going to disney world you're like yeah. oh man i wish i could be oh, here. i would like to see to o- i'd like world. to see old ireland yeah. i'd like to see my my descendants just pitch fark in a field that's what i'm saying yeah. yeah all right either way it'd be cool i'm convoying on either way okay well, time's a flat circle time is a flat circle we're just in different universes we ain't made flowers in a long time <laughs> this is what goes from jackson who would win in an nba 2k tournament between the three of you I've never played it, so I would fucking lose. But you do have video game instincts. But I do have video game instincts. And I you have I the muscle memory. He doesn't have that, but I he would has win. played the game more than You'd you. You would probably win. No, 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 no. I think I'd win. No, we, <clears throat> you and I have played many times. No, I've never apartment. played you. You played. We played at my apartment, and you made us change games to a different game because you, we played that FIFA, sound like and me. then we played NBA, <laughs> and then you got mad. And we. It was very. Yeah, you were not having fun. I've never played FIFA. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was. I could beat you in FIFA, though. <laughs> dude. We should do it. We do what my my buddies and I do. We do a uh, the the um the gauntlet. We would play. So for us, we would have to do a game of NBA 2K, a game of FIFA, a game of Tiger Woods, and then the winner of the best out of the three gets to do oh, something to humiliating fight? to the other. No, you you gets pick the fight, you, Brendan. You pick a humiliating. I will grease myself up. Like it used to be. Is there any way to make that entertaining for people to watch? I think so. I I would do that. Yeah, that's what Twitch is for. (laughs) And I and I think uh, it's fun because like for my other for like when I did it with my buddy Matt, the loser got to change the other's outgoing voicemail to whatever they want. Uh, and the other awesome. person couldn't change it wow. for like six months or whatever it's like it was. like practical jokers. Yeah, yeah. And you had to record. And we were also like drinking too. So we had to record it like right then and there at the at the end of the night when you're like hammered. And oh, so it's like, man. ah, I was coming. And he's like, and he'd be like, dude, I mean, I got job interviews. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I'm like, sorry, dude. Next time fucking hit that <laughs> free. Gentleman's butt. Yeah. And yeah. I'll be calling every day. Just but him and I her. would do Madden baseball and basketball oh madden yeah. i'll lose for sure yeah but, but that's uh, why i pick those three 2k fifa and pga i'm I the would, least uh, experienced i would win i would go three and oh oh well, no but i three do and think and I, Warzone. we should set this up <laughs> and wars <Just, laughs> and wars <laughs> name one gun they are they are five <laughs> damn <laughs> is that true <laughs> no but Flashbang. <laughs> <laughs> Golden Eagle. <laughs> you know, if you just keep going, like Desert five storm. are going to be right. Yeah. Um, okay. This next question comes from Alex, the truck. Trucky. It's got a lot of pop. Here's a scenario. ATC. You three are sent back in time. Another time question. Oh, time. Uh, <laughs> why are you bothering me? You three are sent back in time. As Nicole would call that arguably much, much more annoying. Is that bad? <laughs> it's like, 
It's just so it's all random the- what triggers it. <laughs> just and it's show stoppingly loud. Yeah, I'm trying to just green light myself, and it's probably a problem for most people, but just I'm just everyone uh, in your orbit. But yeah, I- I'm just trying <laughs> I'm trying to allow myself the space to <laughs> you know? Just tired of being so restricted. You three have you felt like you've been withholding? I have, yeah. I really feel like I haven't shed my skin. <laughs> I'm, I need to make. I've, I've been watching the Carlin documentary, so uh, I, I just I need to find my your next. You. I need to find my ponytail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Peas, <laughs> farts and barts and darts. Yeah, just rhyming. Um, we've got farts, we've got barts, we got tarts, we got hearts, quickie marts. <laughs> but what they don't tell you is it's all bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> um. Here's the scenario. You three are sent back in time. Oh, a hundred years, a hundred years. And when you wake up in the New York alley, you see a girl being attacked. You three, of course, save the girl and come to find out it's the daughter of someone high in the Irish mob. Whoa. And you three are now made men. Whoa. Auto make. What is this? My fantasy? What, what is going to be your field of expertise? Bootlegging, liquor, hitman, Pimping, gun running, etc. In the Irish mob, and what is your new mob name? <clears throat> but we'll be. I love this. The O'Malley Cats. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to hate I that with all that. of my being, and I love it so much. I love it so much, dude. I want to get t-shirts. I feel or like, like Letterman jackets of you, the O'Malley. You once cats. again, right you, no, an O M, you yeah. dummy. Once again, <laughs> Mr. O-M. Magood out of a building and landed in a pillow factory. <laughs> I think, <laughs> dude, can we please get a le- like leather sleeves, the O'Malley cats, <laughs> almost like Notre Dame colors? I think the blue with uh-huh. the gold. And an O apostrophe M and a fucking giant ass cat logo on the back with the O'Malley cats above it. And then yeah. we could get like lettered three years. Yeah, dude, I'll, I would do that. I'll tell you what my job would be in the mob. Nicole, would you wear that jacket? Yeah, for sure. Of course. Okay. Like we were like the four rig- of them. Like we'd be like the Rigmas from Saved by the Bell. Yeah. <laughs> the pink ladies. Yes. <laughs> what would be your expertise? <laughs> Expectation. What would be your ex? What would be your expertise, Brendan says, <laughs> as serious. Yeah, that's as why me. they call. It, that's why they spell it that way. Yeah. <laughs> expertise. <laughs> What's your expertise? Yeah. <laughs> Hard boiled. <laughs> anyway, folks. <laughs> <laughs> that laugh was so pure. <laughs> 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 I <clears throat> I think that I would be good at. Giving the like, let's say it, it could be any, all right. So let's take bootlegging, um, you know, alcohol because that seems yeah. like something that's up my alley or whatever. I do think it, I wouldn't be the guy who'd be able to be logistics. Like, all right, I got a truck coming from, I got a truck that leaves Dallas at nine fifty five, and I got another one. You know me, math and science. But I do think that if I could be the guy to kind of be the overseer, almost like the Mike in Better Call Saul. Like I could yeah. be that without the, but I would give more of the orders. You know, I like the Hello, Gus Fring. Walter. I like the Gus Fring. Yeah. That, that was really good. <laughs> Pretty good, right? <laughs> Just shut the fuck up and let me die. Jesse. <laughs> Jesse. <laughs> Jesse. <laughs> Jesse. You're not going to do that, Walter. Walter. <laughs> that sounds like Fat Tony. Yeah, yeah. You're really good. It's Wal- Walter. Wal- Just let yeah. me die. That's really good. Wow. I'm so excited. I have three episodes left in Better Call Saul. Oh, I, I, I don't even know how to watch it yet. You, you wouldn't even begin to understand how much you love it. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> I have so much shit to watch. I no, want to blow that my priority brains one out, Because dude. you love Breaking Bad. What are you watching oh. it on? The AMC app? Right now, AMC. Yeah, AMC Plus. <sighs> and it's, it's only available until uh, June, like, Sixth or Second, something. You say like second. Uh, you I have got to four, watch it all. You days. got four days to watch seven hundred hours. Yeah. I can do that. It's only no. You seen no. I've. Four. I, I'm just watching this last season. Yeah, yeah. It's only eight episodes. There are only eight episodes. I haven't watched seasons. one moment. They are. It's so good. I it's think so different levels. I think. I don't know how you guys are going to agree to this, but I think I could do be a hitman. <laughs> I think I can get myself there. You know, you just 
you take your first, you get your first one. Yeah. And then after that, it's just, uh, no going back. You'd be shaking like fucking Jesse shooting Gil. You little pussy. I would the first time. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, first I time. But please, I'd be El Camino after a fucking year. I wouldn't mm. be a hit. You man, can still cry, but I would be like the guy who gives the <laughs> hit out. You know, <laughs> like oh, you're yeah, like Brendan. Gonna. Sincerity of like, if you're a killer, you can still cry. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Yeah, yeah. I've known. Man. <laughs> there was a scene in Barry where he's like, you know, I take no pleasure in killing people, right? And the guy who's this like Chechen, like the the funny Chechen guy, is yeah. like, do not, do I not tell you that enough? Or something <laughs> like that. He's actually, he's like, the, you're really good at it. He was in, he's in Better Call Saul this season. Really? The bald guy. Yeah, it's weird. For, does look. he have eyebrows in that one? No. So I think he is. See, a, folks, alopecia. If you're in show business and you're like, I can't do this. I have no eyebrows. There's a market for you. Uh, are you talking to yourself? <laughs> can Nicole, can we send this to me every day? <laughs> can we uh, run that back and just send it to me as an isolated clip? <laughs> every time I feel bad about my skin. And uh, what would you do? What could? What do you think you could do? What was the question? Oh, He's I, the enforcer. I would, no, You're the enforcer. No, I wouldn't even be that. I think, well, initially, I think that's how I would come up. And then I would be, then I'd run the books. I'd yeah. be into the gambling element of it because I do think that I could delegate violence just as well as I could inflict it. Let's say if I was, oh, I'd be the opposite. Position. I could only delegate it. I, I, I need it to be far removed. I just watched that killing them softly movie with Brad Pitt and James oh, yeah. and Ray Liotta. I, and that thing about him being like, he's a Brad Pitt's a hitman, And he's like, I like to kill from a distance, you know, killing them softly. Like yeah. I, they, I don't want it. He's like, you ever, he's like, you ever kill someone? He's like, it's embarrassing. He's like, you get up, they start crying. They're shitting themselves. They're begging for their life. They beg for their mommy. It's, yeah. like, it's all emotional. I don't want to deal with any of that shit. It makes me feel bad about myself. I don't yeah. want that. I like to just kill them from, <laughs> it's like, it's such a plain way to be like, yeah, that's someone begging for their life. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're like, Ugh, I just don't want to deal with all that bullshit. You know, <laughs> it's oh crazy. My God. I've, I've been thinking a lot about that because we have been watching Barry with the newest sneeze season. And it's like, real dark i gotta watch it it's really dark it, it gets to that where it's like what the fuck <sighs> so i've been thinking about being a hitman <laughs> for hire <laughs> well, doing know. comedy yeah yeah <laughs> that would be very that'd be funny i just become like the best comic because i have no emotion in it where i'm like i'm just saying everything yeah, I they feel. always say comedy is emotion like you guys don't affect me i watched a man shit and beg his life yeah beg and i still life. killed him this one comes from uh, Cerner Style. Would you Sorry. rather Disney princesses? Oh. Would you rather be kissed awake from a coma like Sleeping Beauty or hang out with a, uh, a sep septet of cave dwellers like Snow White? Septet. Seven. Oh. <laughs> like, That's, I mean. Like octuplets, like sure. quadruplets, sure. twins. I get it. I get it. I don't know if you do. I do because get you're it. so resistant to <laughs> no, new I'm information. Not. No, I'm not. Staggering. No, it's just it's uh it's like it's like cool. Wait, just, what is what is just this guy say, read? Just say what, are you, what are you embarrassed you didn't know about that's it before the, that? That's the yeah, point. Matt, yeah. yeah. He's angry. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, you're all caught up. <laughs> <laughs> um I would uh Definitely like to be kissed awake. I think. I mean, I you know, you don't want to wake up. What was like, the other one? Snow White. Have you ever been kissed awake? Or whatever? Yeah. That was good. Uh, well, Hang out with seven midgets. It depends. I've also been well, not, blown awake in a situation I wasn't like. You were peeing? No. <laughs> no. No. I passed out while uh, sleeping with a girl in college. And I like came to while she was blowing me. And I was like. Oh! Like I almost like. <laughs> Need her in the chops. I fucking flipped out, dude. It was, it was not. It was weird. That is not even a little bit the same. There's no way. Of, like you woke up during a rape. It was, yeah, for sure. But I mean, I asked for it. Of I was course. wearing something pretty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No yeah, pants. I was in my Winnie the Pooh. Yeah, I was walking around a party with my cock out, saying, "I dare you, boys. <laughs> I dare you to suck my dick." <laughs> um. What was the question? <laughs> you asked oh, it. it uh, Would you rather get kissed it. awake or yeah, or or or, uh, it. or or and rape, I answered like it. Me, or I, rape. So I'm going, or, I would, I'm going kissed I, awake. Yeah, kissed awake for sure. Raped. Um, this one comes from Doctor Pingwing Wong DDS. Have you Dr. guys? Pingy. Have you guys ever thought about touring together? 
<laughs> what? That's a is that not a so subtle jab? Uh, like the no, I don't think this is a jab. I think it oh, is. Oh, then just... it's super bombing me out. Why? Why? <laughs> because it's like, God, it should be it. exciting for you. Finish this is the it. question: Have you guys ever thought about touring together, similar to the AG AYG boys, with a scenario pot at the end? We yeah. have done that. Actually, we did a show. It was a huge success. Yeah, yeah. and now we're doing it again in Austin, and we're doing September. it again in Austin. September. Perfect timing. Look Let's get the plugs out of the way. Wow. If you want to see that, we are doing that in September in Texas at Vulcan. Uh, at Vulcan. Yeah, I don't know if the tickets should, are available, but um, I think they're yeah they're on sale. But yeah, to that person's question, yes, we have thought about it. <laughs> yes, we should be doing that ninety nine percent more, but we are doing it. So far at a pace of almost twice a year. So I think <laughs> that, uh, you know, for right now, all three of us are running in opposite directions and then trying to come back and do the same, yeah. do it once. Um, but we should be. Yeah. So um, go check that out because we're going to be doing that more when we get our shit together. <laughs> so check that out. Also check out all of our websites. Mikey, go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to be in Tampa this weekend, June 9th through the 12th at Side Splitters. Uh, I'm doing 6 million shows. I forget how many, but very excited. Uh, going to be on Calta while I'm down there. Just going to have a real fun fucking time. I love that town. And uh, yeah, watch my special, White Privilege Homeless, on YouTube. Appreciate everybody for the messages, the comments, all the uh, very cool shit you guys sharing it around. It's been uh, it's been very cool, so I, ge I genuinely appreciate that. And uh, I'll be in Philly in July. I'm going to be in Boston in August. I'm going to be in Batavia, Illinois in August. A bunch of new dates are coming in, ramping up. And uh, yeah, some with the boys. So hopefully that also continues to ramp up. But uh, keep coming out and supporting. We appreciate you guys and love you and sign up for the Patreon. Heck yeah. I just ran into Mike Calta at the Paul McCartney concert. That was very fun. So oh, in the nice. crowd. Oh yeah, I saw very, that. Was very How good is that show? It was incredible. He Friend was like, like Feeny? He's like, what the fuck are you doing in Florida? <laughs> in Orlando? And Paul McCartney in the floor. I was like, boy, oh boy, do we have a lot to catch up on. Um, yeah, I will also, this is a perfect example of, of bad of bad career stuff that we're going, I'll also be in, we could have just the three of us gone and done side splitters, sold out six shows, did the show done a there. podcast, but instead, Mike's going to be there in June, I'll be there in July doing everything he just said, but also six shows of my own to try to sell six shows of tickets too uh so go so uh, figure out who you like better no uh, no here's the other thing once a month go yeah out. here's the thing come to both That's uh, yeah of course come just to go both. out once a month yeah. july 20 there's so much good goddamn comedy right now and i think people are 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 truly overlooking that because you know everybody's like they got their own opinions on what's what but there is a ton of really great shit people releasing specials us we're going on the road touring we're going out to these different markets for you guys like yeah. we're just reaching you now at a different level so it's be it's it's really exciting for us and we appreciate the fact that you guys are coming out and uh tell your fucking friends because all three of us put on a hell of a live show and uh whether it's together or separate you're not gonna you're not gonna uh regret coming it's a fucking great show july 21st uh the 24th side splitters uh august 18th to the 20th comics uh roadhouse with the sad i'll be there um, sad daddy september uh 9th of the 11th we'll be at austin we'll be at a skank fest in Vegas and then uh, got other shows coming on the books I think I'm, I got one of those little Midwest things yeah. happening which again oh, I gave Aaron your number just the other what? day huh oh we'll talk later we'll number. talk later he, yeah. he's been texting me since January we've been talking about setting up a thing well then, something weird happened. <laughs> <laughs> I have a text. Maybe he just wanted to talk to you. Our texts go hey, through. Maybe. Yeah, maybe he, he needed an in. Hey, hey, should I text him right now? Hey, man, you don't need to do that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just text you. I had a dream about you last night. <laughs> okay, weird. just start asking for numbers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> literally texting me in January. Yeah. Oh wow. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, MikeFeeneyComedy.com, twitchtv slash nyfreshmaker. and at I am Mike Feeney across uh, social media. I'm making these. Silly dumb videos each week where I make Elm shitting on the city and people like them. So thank you for watching them and share them with other people. Oh, yeah. And twitch.tv slash sex to riches. I got my own little headlining dates coming up. Uh, Canada, Toronto in August. Chicago locked down in uh, October. Come on out. That will all be on the website. And also check out my socials as well. Um, Nicole? 
Nicole. <laughs> Were you done? I was done. Okay, Nicole C. Lyons on Instagram. <laughs> Yo, let me give it Nicole a shout and let me give it Nicole a shout Let out. me give it Nicole. Uh, she's she's currently in the middle of editing my crowd work special and it's fucking killer what nice. she's doing. So again, dude, subscribe to the YouTube, if not for me, for Nicole, because her uh, her work is prominently displayed all over that bitch. And uh, yeah, the, the crowd work special is going to be real sweet. She's I'm so excited fantastic to see that. work. All right. Um, you boys ready for questions? <laughs> this is how he do it. <laughs> um, this one comes from Chris Pickler. Okay. Here's a scenario. Amber's log. Amber. You are Johnny Depp. Oh. Immediately after discovering oh, Amber's that? steamy he log. Got 15 million, by the way. 15 milli. I smell Edward Scissorhands too. <laughs> I sell Aquaman 6. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think they just put out, didn't they have a petition to get her out of that? And they're like, the movie's done. <laughs> we can't yeah, I think they get her out of it. her screen time. Yeah. <laughs> they just have a voice. Like they, they lowered her voice a couple octaves. Aquaman. Like Poochie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, kids. Like I have Poochie. to go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 um, okay, Amber's log. You are Johnny Depp. Immediately after discovering Amber's steamy log in your bed, what do you do to get back at her? After I'm done eating it with a fork and knife? <laughs> <laughs> Thank her. <laughs> yeah. Thank her for the masterpiece she just left in our boudoir. <laughs> Unless you mean sincerely get back at her, yeah. then that's what I want to do. No, I think no, you got to you got to like come on her fake eyelashes or something. Like yeah. something that's an expensive thing that will also like it'll cause some health concerns as well because if she like tries to glue on her eyelashes with like your caked cum all over it then maybe she'll like accidentally super glue her lids yeah. shut and then she's like eyes shut blowing elon musk and his chick then they just come out that they had like a threesome you watch so much tiktok dude yeah dude i i think you're going about <laughs> this all wrong <laughs> the best way to get back hit me, at her hit me never ever address it act like it didn't even happen and it will drive her fucking crazy because if she's like she made just, a grumpy she just she's just waking up she's just pacing downstairs like i can't wait to hear the screams and the yeah. objections and the argument that i'm fucking ready for just standing on the other side of the door like in a trojan horse just waiting and then all of a sudden you walk out and you go oh, what a babe and you just keep going on with your day and she's yeah. she checks it's still there she's like what the fuck How yeah. can not? that would drive yeah. them that's psychological warfare yeah that's true I, I don't think I could not mention it. I think even if I was like, okay, and then like took all the fucking sheets and threw it out and then walked around, I I think I'd just bust her balls for it after a while. If she was like, I got to go to the bathroom, like bathroom's over there. <laughs> yeah, not the on one the with the mattress. toilet in it, please. I yeah. would never. And I, I mean, even when she was like, my stomach's really been upset. If you couldn't tell, and I go, oh, I, didn't, yeah. I didn't even notice. No, I'd probably pick up the sheet and wrap it over her head like a ghost and then start patting her scalp. <laughs> yeah, dude. That is what you do. Yeah, just you you, you abuse her. You, you abuse her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. But that but that shitting on Is that abuse? Yeah, physical, emotional. Is payback abuse? But it's, it's revenge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does that yeah. count? <laughs> I don't know if you've seen revenge before, and it's not always pretty. No. <laughs> no, I guess not. Or what you do. But is patty cake with shit in a... In a, in a baker's... In a baker's is it against man. their will? <laughs> Make me a cake. Is it against their will? <laughs> um, well, yes, what if they're what if they're screaming so loud they can't express their will? Uh, that would actually imply that actually sounds like exactly what happens during rape. Oh, oh, geez! But yeah. they're not saying no; they're saying ah. So yeah, that, what does that, that even mean, too. really? <laughs> Your tongue is brown. Yeah, from that coffee. Would you, <laughs> no, can you do that again? The blunts. <laughs> ah. <laughs> yeah, like, uh, like, like I Bart just, Simpson. Looks like I just literally ate it with a fork and knife. <laughs> I think what you do is you take a picture of it and then just send it to every single person she knows, and then break you up tweet with her. it. You, you fucking tweet it, tweet it out. You, you go, my, my girlfriend just shit on my bed. Look at her this way every time you look at her. <laughs> Don't forget this. <laughs> That's what I would do. <laughs> uh, it was like, my high school bully's back at it again. Yeah, <laughs> I shit on my bed. Look what my girlfriend did. Uh, it's a joke. I it's love, a joke. I, I do love how upset you are at people not. Like understanding. I don't know. Well, no, I don't, don't care understand. about it anymore. I know, but it's it, very but it funny. Was, but I've seen people come up to him and be like, dude, that's like really crazy. And he's like, it's me. 
because like pissed, and, and they're like expressing humanity <laughs> yeah. to him because you're like, oh, dude, that, that sucks, man. Why? I want attention, but not in the way that you're showing. Yeah. Me. <laughs> they should know that. <laughs> How dare you not see me perfectly? Yeah, yeah. <sighs> you're supposed to look at it like I'm a comic genius, not look, that I'm a sad sack. Look, anytime I'm, I'm yelling at somebody. You're really I'm going through something. <laughs> <laughs> so whatever, you're right. But why are you why fucking we... yourself as you're saying? Because someone needs to. <sighs> um, your knees that felt are so great. White. I know I fucking ate this. They're so white. Uh, you're white. <laughs> How'd you get that scar? How'd you get that scar? I don't know That's how fine. I got these scars. Yeah. That looks like you got hit with a fucking rubber bullet. Where? <laughs> I, I don't know. I've always, I've always fucking Where? there. I can't see. I fell when I was skating once, I like years ago. Lift up your leg. I can't see. Put it on the camera. Yeah. Oh, that is a ham hock. Look at this. Yeah, what happened? Did you take a fucking pellet to the patella? I, don't know. It's, I think it's a part of. <laughs> I, I mean, it could be like. Just different enough. To I patella. did fall on my knee. <laughs> <years ago. laughs> <laughs> it's a rubber bullet. You're like, would you take a pellet to the pellet? I tell you, I realized you needed more. <laughs> and it was. It was just enough. <laughs> the only thing missing from this dynamic yeah. would have been Brennan going, Pella, pellet to the patella, saying, like, repeating the Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is amazing. That, that I will say this about this podcast. It is it is equal parts oblivious as it is self-aware. <laughs> sure. Do you know what that I mean? That is a great description. It really is. Because we say things with such, like, no clue or care Reckless in the world. Abandoned. Yeah, that's a perfect way to put it. Yeah. And then we will retread those tracks and say how stupid we are. Yeah. Yeah. So that you can't get us. Yeah. So that's. <laughs> A fair fight. We're in on it. <laughs> yeah. After. Fred, the name After. of your al next album should be I'm in on the joke. <laughs> <laughs> that would be. Damn, what did I say the other night? Hopeless. Hopeless. Oh. Yeah. That actually, I wrote that. <laughs> oh, no, I said that. And then you. I did. Yeah, you got I said, it. Brendan. <laughs> you got it, buddy. I'm telling you, I did. You said, write it down. That's all you said to me. You said, right. you said that's good. Write it down. Uh, yeah. No, it definitely didn't come after saying the word when I was like, oh, that actually is a good title. Well, you you should write that down. Yeah, because like, you said I know, hopeless. I thought of it myself. You No, <laughs> this is what fucking happened. You said hopeless. Don't look at him. You can said you hopeless. Both, can you both tell me your version of the story, and then I will try to guess what I think the correct answer he is? He said hopeless. Good. I said that. How did he say hopeless? How did he said, get on He there? said something, something hopeless. I said that's going to be the name of my next album. Right. We both laughed, and you said that's actually a good name. You should write that down. Right. And I wrote it down. So who said hopeless? I guess you said hopeless. That's, oh, okay. But I said it's going to be the name of my album. And then I said you should definitely do that. Yeah. So I guess we're but both I a part said of this. the name. This is the Cartman fish stick thing. I guess you did say hopeless, but that was actually, well, but the, that, it would have trial. just gone away. You said hopeless and told you to write it down. And no, yeah, I, because you didn't, you did. You're like, oh, that should be. A, blah, blah, blah. And then uh, I said, no, actually take out your computer in your pocket and write that down. Okay. All right. I will admit. Look, anytime I'm yelling at somebody, I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> that is a good name. Uh, that was all the feed he doesn't care. It also, for. it also made me before this origin story of it. It made me very sad. Yeah, <laughs> you're like that's the name of your special, hopeless. I think that's a great name for a special. Yeah, I do too. Yeah, um, I have to see what the hour is about. It's about him. It's about me. Uh, look, like that was. I believe there is still hope for you. Well, I that's what makes it fun. more to it. Yeah. That's see. what makes it fun. There's more. There's to more it. to it. Yeah. I mean that like, what are you, what are you talking about? <laughs> no, what do you mean? There's know. more to it. Of course there's, there's layers to this. There's idiot. layers. Yeah, there's layers. About? Why are you trying to justify this in a serious <laughs> way? It's not, what do you, I'm not saying it's serious. Like I have I'm hope, saying that they're, but, yeah, but it, but it's layered. Cause I, I, I show I, that I played I the fool, but I'm in on the joke. Yeah. <laughs> As he like chips his tooth on his <laughs> microphone. We're going to cut all this out, right? This is all going. <laughs> um, look. That was a slow sip of a man resentfully drinking his coffee. Oh, you haven't even seen resentful. <laughs> <laughs> you have yet to see resentful. No, uh, that was all the Patreon questions, by the way. Thank you for, uh, for the Patreon. We love you so much. Instagram questions 
Thank you very much as well. Uh, we love you guys just as maybe a little less than the Patreon. <laughs> yeah, definitely not just as much. No, no, no. no. Um, this one comes contractually from, not allowed. This one comes from Trumbulls. Uh, he says, Fien Canelo. Oh. You've become good friends with Carlos Danger and Ron Mexico. You all bro down looking for some strange and getting tested for STDs. Of course, you've adopted a synonym. What is your AKA pseudonym? Pseudonym. Pseudonym. Oh. What is your, what is, what is your, so there's Carlos Danger and there's Ron Mexico. I will be. Brendan Flabbergasted. You're going to keep the same name? <laughs> you are the dumbest. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I like Brendan. Brendan. <laughs> it's like, Brendan how could they crack the code <laughs> and find out Goes who by. Brendan Flabbergasted It worked uh, for well, Obi-Wan yeah. Kenobi. Spell it. Flabbergasted? Flabbergasted? You said it different each time. Uh, F-L-A. Nicole, pull this up. The first half describes you. Flab. <laughs> uh, F-L-A-B-E-R. G, of course. <laughs> we all know G. I mean, you're course. already wrong, but go ahead. <laughs> okay, F-L-A-B-A. Flabbergasted. Flabbergasted. Dude. F-L-A-B. Yeah. We all know F-L-A-B. Sure. Folks, <laughs> <laughs> folks, China, China. We all know F L A B. Um, <laughs> F L A B. E R. No flabber. That's in there. That's in there. Two B's. Two B's. Flabber. What? Yeah. Flabber. Don't say it. I know. I know. I know. Like, I'm trying. I'm trying to. I'm that's try why you're unlikable. <laughs> That's I the one thing unlikable. holding you back. <laughs> I am not unlikable is the least likable thing I've ever heard. We're all Sometimes unlikable. It's just fun we're to all, make you guys We're mad. all somewhat likable and we're all unlikable. It depends <laughs> of how course. you consume us. Oh yeah, I've, I've seen <laughs> Anyone who doesn't like me doesn't, should, shouldn't. Oh. I don't want him Who's to. flabbergasted now? <laughs> F-L-A-B-A-B-E. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's your name? FLD. <laughs> this turned into a nice little spelling bee, but let's get back to the question, shall we, boys? Carlos Danger and Ron Mexico. Yeah, that's uh that's Anthony Weiner. And Ron Mexico. Is that actually Ron DeSantis? <laughs> Cuz that would be funny two morons that didn't change their first name. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Nicole left hours. Ago. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I, I was we just hear behind Nicole, the. She, yeah, I just heard a car zoom off. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hold on. Let, <laughs> the, the answer's in my car. Let me go get it. <laughs> we just hear it. <laughs> the answer's on this plane. <laughs> <laughs> and we, just, we just look out the window and go, I don't think she's coming back. <laughs> All right. Uh, I would be. Can we answer? What would you No, nah, it's Brendan. Back to the question. <laughs> the questions are for Brendan and for us to moderate. Yeah. What would you be? Uh, um, he said his name. Right? What? What did I say? Brendan Flabbergast. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to be like a the like a like a Tommy the Tooth or something like that. I want I want to be like Chuck Boom. Boom. For is it? Cannon. Isn't that a real name though? Isn't there a person Chuck Boom? Is that a person? Have you ever heard of that? Chuck Boom. Yeah. In what industry? I've met. I know click click. Who's click click? Click click boom. <laughs> I'm coming down on the stereo. Click on, click on the radio. Boom. <laughs> click um, click. That's boom. my name. <laughs> click click boom. <laughs> click click boom. Yeah. Um, this one comes from Robert A. Would you rather go vegan for a year, plant based, no meat or dairy? We understand. Or go carnivore for six months every meal is just meat any meat i could do that i feel like every meal i do have is is almost always meat yeah but i do think i mean that's not really a hard question i would pick the carnivore one over it but i think if it was like be a vegan for a year or do something else i think i could also go vegan for a year it would suck if like, i had to that would, yeah that'd probably be nice to be like okay let's clean this out a little bit but there's some real fatso vegans yeah. like vegan some real self-righteous of- chubbers that only like stick their hand in a vat of fucking oil and well, take van, fries like, out of it van lewin's vegan it doesn't ice- come from an animal but it's, it's <laughs> delicious van lewin's um <laughs> vegan ice cream is actually worse for you than their regular ice cream Why? it's got way more sugar in it and all this to make it taste like fucking ice cream yeah so it's actually that because I remember one time there was like cookies and cream or like a vegan cookies and cream. I go, 
ah, damn, I want to get the vegan cookies and cream yeah. and be, save some calories. And the guy's like, it is. It's like 300 grams more sugar. Oh, wow. The meat is actually probably a better answer then because it... Proteins. Yeah, exactly. Who's that guy? You have liver like one meal a day, right? Mm-hmm. The liver king. Do you ever look at his shit on TikTok? He's this giant yoked meatball that only just eats like raw animal hearts, and stuff like that. <laughs> but he's fucking out of his. I think he's like on oh my god, seven hundred cycles of sus. But he, uh, yeah, this wow. Dude, look at it. He is. Oh my yeah. god. He's jacked. Yeah, he's in great shape. I'm sure it's natural. But uh, he <laughs> he he's so tan. Why wouldn't tan. you be? <clears throat> Look at him. He's hairless too. I would love to be. I his connect waxer. my feet to the bare earth every day, rain or snow, so I can step up my best sleep, so that I can have my best week, so that I can live my best life. I wouldn't mind watching him get in a car accident. <laughs> He'd probably hurt the other car. Comfort yeah, is not good for the organism. He don't would, let perfect. You, don't, you be, don't like this stuff. Don't let perfect be the enemy of good. Sprint towards the snow. Dig your feet right in and dominate your environment. And then every single person commenting like, thank you for the advice, Liver King. (laughs) Fuck off. I don't know, man. I'm inspired. I mean, I would probably be like, all right, I'll do that. If he was with me, like. Did you fart? No. Do you smell that? No. I haven't had my sense of smell or taste in years. (laughs) In weeks. Um, if he was like, if I was like hanging out with him and he was like, let's go fucking put our feet in the, in the snow, dude. I do it every fucking week. I'd be like, let's go. Yeah, yeah I, I would, would do it. I would do yeah. it once, but I'm not going to do that. Dude. And then uh, post about it. Caught it. What is that? <laughs> Did that escape your asshole? The, no, I asked you. How dare you blame dude, that's me? That's like a Ghostbusters That is the second just... time that you've been like, did you fart? No, I said the last said one. It. Oh, whoa. Maybe there's something <laughs> over there. <laughs> Maybe it's yes. you. Yeah. You're sitting <laughs> sixty <laughs> yards away, firing Spread eagle right at yeah. us. Yeah, I yeah. swear to God, it's coming it, right out the bottom of your fucking I daisy my, shorts. My, your underwear <laughs> goes longer dogs. than your shorts. Yeah, dude, I can re- <laughs> I can see the tip of your bag. It's red, <laughs> <laughs> like, like it's the corner of a wrap. My, my underwear? They're red. No, they're not. Yeah, they are. Oh, pink. Oh, no, no. Pink. The, the, these are. Oh, oh so that's you're not, not that's wearing not underwear Part instead. No, I am. Look, are you going no undies? No, I got it under you here. Have you two, even worse. You have two <laughs> you're undies. Such children. <laughs> you're not a child because you're about to be thirty-one. <laughs> oh my god! All right, this one comes from. Sorry, Jennifer. we're going to a wedding. <laughs> that's all right. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, it it figures. Like it. <laughs> it figures alone again. Oh, it's a bridesmaid never a bride. <laughs> um, this one comes. Yeah, we from... love doing weddings without you. <laughs> you sure do, yeah. <laughs> including not, your own. It's not the same wedding. <laughs> uh, here we go. Including <laughs> your own. Oh, I'm sorry. We were oh. still months away from Binghamton. Yeah, yeah, we were still months away from being <laughs> you duped into asshole. weekend work that didn't yeah. exist. You're lucky you're here. Yeah, you're yeah. Li- <laughs> you, you, as far as I, as far as I'm concerned, you kidnapped us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I drank a full bottle of Jameson. Yeah. We had a you. we had a pilot with comedy. Central in the works before we met you. That's true, and that it all true. went down after yep. that. Yeah. They call me Brendan the the uh, the Iron, <laughs> Brendan the, the Anchor, the Anchor, Brendan the Brendan Heavy the Raccoon, <laughs> the Heavy Anchor Raccoon. <laughs> all right, Jennifer DeCroche. Oh, that okay. uh, Hello, boys. How are you guys doing? Good. I'm good. Grateful. Uh, I have a. I wi- took a collagen pill today for anti-stress. I feel okay. Oh, I would love one of those. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I have a would you rather for you. Would you rather have to wear, have to wear falsies? Yeah, teeth. Oh, falsies or have to wear bright lipstick for an entire month. And if anyone asks why you're wearing falsies or lipstick, you're, you vehemently deny it like a Kardashian denies plastic surgery. After the month is over, you can go back to normal but still deny your mouth long shtick of falsies or lipstick. Dude, I think I already have what look like fake teeth. Love the show. But I, I would absolutely love to do lipstick for a month. Just yeah. bright, leave, like leave fire, my, my. fire engine red, like fucking uh, Jessica rabbit. <laughs> like fucking yeah, just, yeah. And just, and be like, I'm not wearing any lipstick. What are you talking about? It would be, it would make the comedy funnier. It would, it would be hilarious. And then in a month, just put it away as if it never, ha- I mean, that's essentially 
my mustache was a version of that same joke. Yeah. <laughs> just like, yeah. here's, here's my nail thing. polish. Here's that was thing kind I'm, of hairy lipstick. Yeah. Here's the <laughs> thing I'm not addressing. And yeah, a tear for now. Um, <laughs> did, and you then ever, be gone. did you ever, or did your schools have power, pu- uh, powder puff? Powder puff girls? Yeah. No, where like uh, the cheerleaders would play football and the football players no. would play cheerleaders? No. No. Um, it's totally anti trans at this point in <laughs> time, but I, it was like a. It was like, imagine high school the girls staple. playing yeah. sports. Imagine these dumb bitches tossing a fucking. And these guys yeah. dressed as women's and on then, the side were like the, wearing <laughs> fake tits with. I, I The reason why I even bring this up is because I. <laughs> I started the movement. <laughs> I've seen myself. Yeah, I tried to swim for Penn State. But uh, I, I've seen myself in lipstick, and it is such an atrocity that I can't possibly. Like, I, I can't do it. I, I would have to have those giant. In, I would rather put in vampire teeth for a full year. <laughs> that would be cool. That wear lip. Uh, I think I look pretty good in lipstick when I was doing Mary Jean. Uh, you know, you could barely tell. If anything, it made your lips look fuller. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. And we all know People, I thin lips over I would, here. I don't think you have thin lips, do you? The top. You have one. no eyes. Did I never tell you That's guys? I told you guys that story. I was doing some material somewhere oh, yeah. that was like. I guess offensive. And uh, this gay guy called me a, a thin lipped fat guy. <laughs> it's like, fuck you, f- thin lipped fat guy. <laughs> like, I didn't even know I was sensitive about that yet. <laughs> That's exactly what it was. I was like, mm. oh, a new one, a new hurt. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was like, I'm just gotten fat. You start guy. going like this. Hey, ow, ow. You start pinching it to make it swollen. <laughs> ow, ow, I come ow. to the podcast with like, uh, <laughs> would you? Big lips. If we reach like a, cra- like, say, let's, what? let's say when we have a thousand patrons, lip right? filler. Would you do lip filler? No. Like temporary lip filler for no. the show. I don't like needles or anything like that. Well, you can oh, close yeah. your eyes. Nah. No, what know. about if we did it with tattoos. a scorpion? <laughs> if you did it with a scorpion. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Now we're talking. <laughs> Why don't you do it? I'm just asking if you would. I wouldn't. No. Okay. Let's do one more. Okay. Uh, this comes from. Make it a-, a good one. Ashley Saxman. Saxy. Would you rather. Never be recognized out in public or be recognized constantly, but 50% of the time they're wrong about who they think you are. I'm fine with that second one because yeah. you can get free shit from that. Yeah. <laughs> but that would be great. Yeah, that would be awesome. It would be funny if someone rec- like confuses you with someone. Like, they're like, Wayne like, Brady? <laughs> and then they're like, right this I way. so. Yeah. Toby yeah. Maguire? Yeah. You're goddamn right. Yeah. In the flesh. <laughs> Spider-Man. OG. Oh, my God. Is that Dat Fang? Yeah. <laughs> That's Fang. Dat Fang? Dat Fan? Is it what? Is it? Is that fan? that fan? <laughs> Sorry, I'm I, in China where I'm from. That's how we say <laughs> the mainland China. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the goose who raised Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> <laughs> if anything, I'm the goose. You're the panda. <laughs> Halloween. <laughs> That's the show, everybody. Thanks for sticking around. We'll see Appreciate you next week. It. Sticking around. You're great. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being part of the Patreon. See you guys You're next lucky week. to have us. No, <laughs> not that either. Here's the scenario is Mike Feeney, Mike Cannon, and Brendan Sagalow. Executive producers Robert Kelly and Matt Kleinschmidt for the Laugh Button Podcast. For more information about the show, visit here'sthescenario.com. The scenario.